Hello, you amazing hackers. Today I'll be showing you Docker for hacker. Well, Docker for what I consider to be a way to use it when you are hacking. So when I come across a few of these tools that I see some of you hackers use, for example, Lazy Hunter, which I came across on Twitter, which I just had open here. Sorry, for this Lazy Hunter here. Um, there are other tools such as Dam Vulnerable Web Application. Um, there are a lot of tools that you can try using on Docker. So what Docker really is, is it's a container. So I know most of you guys probably know what a virtual machine is. So you can imagine a container sort of like a virtual machine, but it's not exactly like a virtual machine. It's, uh, in fact, there are a lot of difference between the two, but you can sort of imagine it. So what Docker will do is it will start up whatever it needs to run your application. So for example, if I choose a base, Ubuntu image, it will start up Ubuntu and it will start, for example, in this Docker image, it will have his tool specifically will need, a, how do I put this, it will need a web server. So Lazy Hunter will start up on a web server. So what Docker will do is it will start up the operating system virtually and then it will start up a web server and it will run the tool specifically so that we can access it easily. Now, what Docker is, is just a containerization of so it's putting all of the stuff that you need into a container so that would be your virtualization layer that container specifically contains all of the commands that it needs to start up the web server and to start up the product now to run something from the docker hub so you have the docker hub and here they describe all of the specific content that you can get for docker so for example if i want the mysql uh, docker my SQL Server Enterprise Edition Docker. Uh, I can just go there. I can pick one from the community, for example, a MySQL server. And as you can see, I have a complete description and a complete Docker file of MySQL. So what you need to do to install some of these tools is just go to docker.com and then products slash Docker desktop. I'll put that in the description as well. And you need to download the Docker client. Now I'm running on Mac, of course, but you can also download one for Windows. And as you can see, I'm already running it. Now, when you're running your Docker client, there's always Docker pull command on the Docker hub. So you can just type in that Docker pull command. Now I already have this specific image, so it's nothing new. And then on the Docker hub page, usually there is a prerequisites description. I already did this. Um, so you need to make the directions to put the logs and the uploads. And then you can just run the command that is on the quick start guide. And then it'll sometimes have something for persistent storage and it'll have a command for non-persistent storage. Now, when you see I'm running this Docker specifically in the background and it's running on a port. So in this case, it's running on port 8888. So I can just visit this URL and as you can see right now, I'm running Lazy Hunter in Docker. So there are more tools that you can do this with. For example, Dam Vulnerable Web Application. You can do it with the OS Shoe Shop. Uh, you can just explore the Docker Hub. So um, I hope this helped some of you guys. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and bye.